Welcome to the video install tutorial for the G-Comp switch bumper case. The case is just a pretty simple piece of printed plastic that goes all the way around the unit. You will also need to provide your own number one screwdriver for taking the screws out, putting them back in, and a piece of cardboard that's the size of the switch. Your kit may come with uh, with standoffs. These are for wall mounting. They go on at the end. I will show you how to install those. First, you'll go through and remove all of the screws. With the exception of the two center screws for the top piece of plexi. And once you have those all removed, you can set your piece of top plexi aside. Oh, that's right, gotta undo it from the bottom if I wanna do that. So again, flip your case over, pull all the screws out. And if the screws start spinning, the uh, standoff on the other side probably is spinning. So I'll just undo that. Or hold on to it while you're unscrewing it. Make it a little bit easier to pull out if it does start getting stuck like that. And you want to set your standoffs to the side as well. So we will be pressing them into the 3D printed part here in just a few. You also don't want to lose these white spacers or clear sp or translucent, transparent spacers that are in here because we do need them for the uh, install. So back piece plexi removed. Little spacers set aside. Should be eight of them. Top piece of plexi removed. All right. Now take your printed part and just press the original standoffs into the holes on the print, or the hex-shaped holes on the print. And then hold your standoffs in place. Now you're going to take the print and orient it with the power hole. So there's a power hole on the print, and there's a USB port on the case. So. I just flip this over, and of course I'm going to probably lose my, and what you're going to do is you're going to line that power port up to the hole, and then you're just going to counter lever the case in place, or the switch in place. See, I did lose three of my standoff, so I'm going to put those back in real quick. And you just take your front plexi, put it back in, and the shorter screws are the ones that came out of the top, so they have to go back in. So there'll be six shorter screws.
Sorry, I'm not catching much of the action. Not that there's a whole lot. It's just putting in screws and taking them out. Or taking them out and putting them in. And one last screw to put in. So now we will flip the whole thing over upside down, set it out of the way because we have to prep our plexi. So if you're going to be using the standoffs, then you're going to want the plexi to have the bumps for the um, the grippy pads or whatever you want to call them facing up towards the circuit board. That way you don't have to remove them to install the bumper case or to install the, the standoff feet or mounting feet, whatever you want to call them. So that's how I'm going to set this up. But if you were installing it without those feet, you're going to want the uh, you're going to want the um, bumps down to use as feet for the uh, for the for the case. So you want your screws to go through. In my case, so that the threads are up and the bumps are up. Alternatively, if you're just going to install it like the original one was built with and use these as the feet, then you would put your head through this direction so that the head's on the same side as the little rubber bumpers. So just go through real quick, put all eight of your screws in. Okay, and this is where you take a piece of cardboard. You just set it on top of your screws, and you flip the whole thing upside down so you don't lose it. Now, you take your little spacers, and you just set them on top of your screw threads. And then take your G-Comp case or switch and just set it right on top of the whole thing. Now take your cardboard, pick everything up as a sandwich, flip everything over, and you're going to run your screws in. And because I'm putting the standoffs on, I'm not going to actually run the four corner screws all the way in. I'm just going to do the two middle and then the two on the long ways middle. So now you've got those in place. You can now, one side at a time, just pull out those two screws. And these come with their own screws that are a little bit longer to accommodate the extra height required for these mounting brackets. So use the included screws, tighten everything down, then move to your other side, pull those two screws out. and do the same thing on this side. If you're using the screws to keep the little uh, spacers in place when you're doing the install. And then you are done and you have a fully enclosed G-Comp switch. So you can see these are handy little mounting brackets you can use to screw to a wall or to a uh, 
to the back side of your entertainment system or however you got it set up. Anyway, thank you for uh, watching and hopefully this helps you install your GCOM switch case.